I'm Layla. So today we have a showcase with Valkyrie and we get to talk about a blessing. As you see, she has a one star awakening and the blessing that she has is going to be temporal chains. Now this is from SJ. So SJ, thank you very, very much because I currently do not have a Valkyrie in my account. It'd be great if I did. So what he went with was temporal chains, which is decrease each enemy's speed for each active buff they're under. And right now, again, because it's a one star, is it's decreased the speed by 2% up to 6% on this, okay? But as you see, I mean, we get the increased defense, HP accuracy, you get more speed, turn meter. So there's a lot of benefits as you start getting more of these ascensions. And what he ended up doing was he has temporal chains on her and uses her in Scarab in Doom Tower and then also in the arena. So that's what we are going to look at today. And her passive is a really, really big help with this as well. So those of you guys not familiar with Valkyrie, her A1 is called Denigration, which hits twice and decreases turn meter. A2 is standard for, but it's an AOE. She also has a shield and a counterattack. And her passive is called a Jealousy. This champion's turn meter is increased by 10% each time an enemy champion places a buff. Enemy champions will have their turn meter decreased by 10% for each buff they receive. So her passive, along with temporal chains, is going to stack very, very nicely. Now, how he has her built is you're going to see that she's actually in a bunch of just like broken pieces, right? We have a couple broken sets. You know, we have two pieces of stalwart here. We do have, oh, we have one defense set here. We have a resilience piece and then we have a speed piece. So we take a look at her stats. He has her at 41,000 HP, attacks at 1300, 5,600 defense. Her speed's 240 and she does have 200 accuracy is what we have here too. So again, keep in mind, she's a defense champ for why? You know, the attack is low. You know, again, she's a defense champ, guys, and that's why she has 5,600 defense and the attack's a little bit lower. Because again, looking at her skills here, you know, you see her damage base on attack and defense, but primarily defense here as well, too. Now, for mastery, she didn't finish her T5, but what you don't see behind me is that she is methodical, which is increases damage inflicted by 2%. And then her T6 is going to be War Master. War Master as well, too. Okay. All right, so now for this, SJ actually put together a nice little video for us. So that's actually what I'm gonna pull up here is, we're gonna run that. He put together a nice little video. So you are gonna see that the team here is Deacon, Allure, Shamrock, Armager, and Valkyrie running in Scarab. And then he also put together a nice little video of Arena as well too, just to be able to kind of highlight what the team can do and to be able to see, you know, what Val can do on these bosses as well. Because again, so remember with Scarab is you want the shields, that way, you know, the Scarab doesn't counterattack. But again, with the temporal chains, we're looking at decreasing speed, not to mention it does pair very, very nicely with her passive as well too. And then we're gonna be able to see some of that in Arena as well. Look at that. Look at those like Duchess waves and stuff too. So we're working through wave two to get our way to the Scarab. Now Shamrock's a whole other story. Anybody here have a Shamrock and actually use him? I remember, I remember pulling a Shamrock, I think for myself, like in March or something. How ironic, right? How ironic. And I think SJ was the only person I knew that actually uses him in something. And he was saying how he uses them in Doom Tower and it's hilarious. And you know, here we go, guys. We actually see that happening here. Scamrock. <laughs> how are you guys liking the awakenings and the blessings? How are you guys liking awakenings and blessings so far overall? I will say, I ended up putting Brimstone on my Draco. And my Bat Eater now one keys the Ultra Nightmare Clan boss, where they didn't before I had to use two. So that's exciting. There we go, we got shields up. Temporal chains, you know, we so we are seeing that temporal chains is landing. Did you guys see that? So temporal, temporal chains procced and then the decreased speed landed right there as well too. There we go. So actually, does your allure also have temporal chains? Just thinking about that. I thought I saw a couple of that proc as well. 
You like some of the blessing animations? Yeah, they do a really good job. Like I said, the brimstone one's kind of cool because this big meteor just drops on the clan boss, which is pretty neat. So I'm thinking in this that Val has temporal chains because I saw that proc, but I feel like Allure does too, unless I'm missing something. You guys like Smite for the Iron Twins? Yeah, there's definitely some really good blessings in here. Decreasing turn meter. Yep, having Allure definitely helps with that too. So I am noticing, and I'm curious, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave me some comments down below. There are people saying that they definitely have some blessings on, but they're noticing it's not procking very much. It doesn't really seem to be helping that much. Oh, thank you. It's a, That's right. Temporal Chance is a Lego blessing. Cause a bug that boosts the enemy turn meter. She can't. Okay, so maybe... Because I thought she attacked and it showed Temporal Blessing here, but maybe it was just a little delayed with Valkyrie. Yep, good call, guys. Thank you. I was trying to remember which ones are the epic ones and which ones are the Lego ones. So maybe it was just the delay. Thank you much. And you're right. She can never have it. But basically, and if you guys were seeing that there is the scare pretty much had... He was slowed basically the whole time. I want to say that was up pretty much the whole time. There we go. So looking at that, you know, not a whole lot of damage here. Like who did the most amount of damage? Actually, Valk did at 217, right? Nothing crazy here. But again, you know, she has the temporal. So she has the temporal blessing here, which kept him pretty much from doing anything. All right. So next, let's head into Arena. And you're going to see the arena team here that SJ has. He's a Siffy RB. We have Candy and Valk. Temporal Chains procking. Didn't look like it landed. So don't see decrease speed on anybody. There you go. But that was nice and fast. Nice and quick. They go refreshing. Oh, he's just deciding on, like, what team he wants to go against. Were there any teams in particular? Oh, it's not going to show. Okay. So we see a proc, and it just decreases by 2%. So that's what's interesting is some of them actually show, and some of them don't. So I guess when we see the temporal chains proc, you just know that it's decreasing their speed by 2%. And again, because she's at a one-star ascension, it's only going to work up to 6% right now. Until he's able to get more for her. So you have to really like that. Because again, it just appears so well with Valkyrie. With her passive. The temporal chains makes it easier to cut in, which is definitely for sure. Yeah, it's really good against buffs. It makes it easier to cut in between the enemies and the different speeds that they're at. That's actually very, very true. That's very true. And after this, as you guys love to see, I'll run Valk as a campaign farmer. It's like one of your guys' favorite things. These are a few of my favorite things. Wyther can be very, very annoying in the arena, for sure. And you guys say that all the time. Healer down, I repeat, healer down. Reviver's gone, reviver's gone. Poor Miss Phil. Did any of you guys watch Jay Giggsy? Because he's my buddy. Jay Giggsy has a YouTube video up of content creators like hunger games right and it's so funny if you guys haven't seen it watch it because there's a bunch of instances where like sill and i are stealing from each other and like, I'm like what is happening here why is it always me and sill 
And what's great is who he had paired as my teammate, which was really, really funny. Because he's like, this is the most obvious pairing ever. Like, really? <laughs> it's very, very funny. Make sure you guys check it out if you have not. It was great. Okay. There you go. So there are some examples of the arena. Now, I know how much you guys love campaign farmers. So let's go run Valk as a campaign farmer with Temporal Chains. All right, here we are. 12-3. 12-3. Go, Miss Valkyrie. Go. Miss Valkyrie, all by her bad self. Wish I had a Valk. All right. Let's see how she does. And guys, thanks so much for watching. SJ, thank you so much for this showcase on Valkyrie Temporal Chains. Thank you for recording that video as well, too. We took a bunch of time to record that. That's why I thought we would make sure that we, you know, we showed that. That was very, very kind. And yeah, guys, leave me some comments down below on how you're enjoying the blessings. And if you have Valkyrie, what blessings are you using on her? Hey, check out some more videos up here in the playlist in the top right.